Well, hello there. Um, it is a full moon time again, so it's time to do a reading. Let us see where the world is at, and where it's going, and what we have to learn, and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, for future reference, uh, I will definitely be doing a video for every full moon, and so, um, if you have any questions or anything about the next full moon, go ahead and post it here, and I'll do my best to answer it, um, you know, if it applies and everything, uh, I would be happy to answer any questions, really, that'd be really cool. Um, so, yeah, let us see what's happening today. So, it looks like, um, we've got about 12 hours before the full moon happens on the Pacific coast, on, uh... Does that, does that mean it happens all throughout the world? I don't, I'm not really sure, actually. But basically, um, on the Pacific coast of the United States... That was interesting. Um, it's about... It's going to happen basically around 4 a.m. And so I would look up... The phenomenon of the full moon... I've, I explained this in... Uh, oh, which video? The moon video. Yeah, yeah, yeah the moon, uh, a.k.a. month or something like that. Um, if you want to understand the full moon in depth and the different phases of the moon and just the nature of this astronomical body and how it influences us, check out that video. But um, wherever you are all around the world, the full moon occurs, it's at its height, when the moon is opposite the sun. So right now we have sun in Virgo, it's 26 degrees, and, um, oh, it's like 25 degrees right now, actually. But at the time of the full moon, it'll be 26 degrees, and uh, the moon will be in Pisces. The so literally, from the vantage point of Earth, the moon and the sun are diametrically opposed. They are exact opposite. And um, thus is it going to be in the moon is going to be in Pisces, twenty six degrees. So, full moons, just a tiny bit, a tiny bit. I'm not going to resum up that video, but full moons are emotional times. The moon is absolutely. Um, the the emotional side of life, the irrational, uh, the subconscious, and uh, it's not always a bad thing. You know, irrational kind of has a bad connotation to it. But irrational irrationality is a beautiful thing. It makes us rely on a more subjective faculties on being intuitive beings. You know, who can't just explain everything away through cold logic, and. Um, you know, even the most logical, sober one of us, when uh, the full moon is occurring, is experiencing this whoosh of emotion, to put it scientifically. <laughs> and, um, goodness, speaking of whoosh of emotion, we, this full moon cycle, the harvest moon, the full moon for um, the cycle of Virgo, sun in Virgo, is a very emotional one. Um, we have moon in Pisces, and Pisces is water, and um, of all the water energies and of all the moon energies in general, it's the most dreamy, the most idealistic. You have literally, I mean, dream life is vivid. Um, there's an ethereal quality, you know, a feeling of transcendence with this energy. In general, whenever moon is in Pisces, but especially since it's full moon time, and uh, the moon is in this this cycle, it, it's it's in this point during its cycle of um, really influencing the earth, of of tugging at the earth, of pulling out emotions and pulling waters and parting waters and this all sorts of emotional discovery, emotional growth. Um, possibly challenges, you know, which is also necessary for growth. Um, we have a lot of water energies happening because also right now we have Venus and Scorpio uh, along its conjunct Saturn and Scorpio, North Node and Scorpio. So we have Moon and Pisces going on. Then we have all this Scorpio energy. And we also have Jupiter and Cancer happening. And in addition to that, we also have Neptune and Chiron in Pisces. So we just have all of this water energy. This is a very emotional, emotional full moon. And it feels really good. It feels like the Earth really, that we all really need this energy. We need this amalgamation of energies to sort out some emotional baggage that needs to get cleared out. Um, 
you know, Venus and Scorpio is one of the most intense emotional times of the year. It's one of the most intense emotional energies out there. And the entire world is feeling this. All of us are feeling this right now. And we will for the next, what, uh, three weeks? Something like that? Um, so, at this point in the moon cycle, we're reaching a culmination, a high point that started at the beginning of the cycle with the new moon in Virgo about two weeks ago. And in this same cycle, it's going to continue for about another two weeks until the next new moon in Libra. Uh, well, new moon in Aries, sun in Libra. Oh, man. So, for the last two weeks, you, me, we've all been experiencing some deep emotions, incredibly deep emotions, without going into too much private detail. I have been this roller coaster of emotion the last two weeks. It's been um, very good, but very challenging. A lot of deep, deep, deep memories, um, feelings, fears, as well as, you know, jubilation, joys have come to the surface. And, um...